Hello and welcome to another video from Double Real. So this is sort of an unexpected video. Uh, this is the uh, Halogen Class 35 today. So um, one of the problems that I have with this was that it was doing that kind of pulsating thing. And so I figured that the wheels were probably just dirty. And uh, it turns out that they're dirty, but not uh, for, for a brand new looker. It looks like um, weathering powder. So if you see there, um, there's a lot of brown or some kind of grayish color. But this isn't normal, um, you know, kind of track dirt that you pull off um, after, um, you know, a locust being on dirty track. And if I take a look at some of these, um, I think it looks like it's weathering powder. So I'm, I'm looking at the wheels and the, the way it's been set up. It kind of looks like they probably tested the loco and then just went ahead and, and sprayed the thing and uh, probably never retested it. And so these weathering powder residue is sort of left on the wheels um, and it's causing kind of issues that slur speed. I mean, it still works, um, but you could see there that kind of, kind of jumping or kind of stuttering uh, as slow speeds really isn't something we want. So we want to fix it. So what we've done is we've taken the two crocodile clips here, and I don't know if you can see it, but what I've done is I've attached them uh, to the copper um, pickups on either side, and then I've kind of elevated them slightly so that they're not touching the wheels. And then what you can do. Uh, you will have to hold one part down that you're working on with um, your finger and uh, so that the wheels don't hit the bogey. Um, but basically you just turn the power on and lo and behold, it'll move all the bogeys. So what you do then is you take your, your Q-tip or uh, cotton bud, dip it in some um, rubbing alcohol and then basically just touch it against the wheel. So if I go and touch it against the wheel like this, It'll go and clean it, and this beats doing it the manual way. And you just rotate the cotton bud around until it uh, cleans the wheel. Now the other thing tells me that it's not a problem with the motor because this is with the wheels kind of bypassed and it's working without any problems. Um, now I thought maybe, um, now I've done this a few passes and you can already see this is, you know, again turning uh, dark before your very eyes uh, like so so hopefully this this time will maybe clean it all the way okay so I'm going to go and um, hook up the other end I flipped the loco around and uh, just so that it was easier for you guys to see on the camera here and the power is off, so it should hopefully not cause any problems. And I'm going to put my finger on this again, and then just turn the power on. And you can see there, it's moving quite happy. I'm at about 70% power. Um, so I'm going to take a cotton uh, bud or Q-tip, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to dip it in the rubbing alcohol. And I'm going to do um, this up close one first so it's easier for you guys to see. And if I rotate this around, you can see these are wheels that are supposed to be brand new. And it's really pulling off a, um, you can see the weathering powder is coming off just from touching the chassis. So it's definitely a weathering powder issue, uh, which is good, because that means I don't have to worry about having to try to return it or something. Um, so if I take the cotton bud, and rotate it around the inside. Basically what I'm trying to do is get as much of this weathering powder off um, to improve the contacts. And I'm going to do the um, back wheel. I'm going to do the inside first this time. You can see it starts to turn a kind of a darker color. Now it won't matter what the pickups are doing because um, how the wheels are doing because the pickups have powered directly. Um, so I take the cotton bud and just apply it. You can see there it turned black. And that's from the weathering powders that are on the wheels. So you just want to keep repeating this 
until there's really no residue left. And you can just rotate the cotton bud like this. So we also are totally clean. Now I'm going to do the reverse side. So <coughs> and this is at 91%. Um, you can see there that kind of uh, brown tinge. It's definitely the weathering cutters. <coughs> and these shouldn't, the doors shouldn't be weathering powder on the inside of the um, the wheels where the pickups are connected, right? And I'm just for demonstrative purposes here, I'm gonna take a clean cotton bud, it's uh, dipped in the rubbing alcohol, and I'm gonna touch it against this wheel. You guys should be able to see it turn black. It's kind of cool. Um, it's also not cool because, you know, instead of doing a review video, I have now spent half my morning um, doing this instead. You see, that's just from the weathering powders. And obviously, that's going to cause problems with the wheels uh, picking up power from the track. Still pretty dirty. So while I'm doing this, I'm also looking at the other wheel set just to make sure that there's no wobble or anything like that because if there's any problem with the wheel set itself like I thought there might be um, I would be seeing it now and I'm not seeing it at all on that wheel set Oops. and um, try not to touch it against the um, chassis here so that noise you're hearing is me you can see that it's just it touching just because it's upside down basically um, and so that's what I used to do to Clean this last one. I don't know if you can see that uh, turning color. It's getting there. That's the inside, right? We're not talking about the. Okay. And last but not least, the top of the wheel for this one. So once we get all these weathering powders off, I'm hoping at slow speeds, it'll behave itself. We will see. An interesting thing is, I probably wouldn't have noticed this had I not um, been running at slow speed, right? I mean, if I've been running that the way I normally run things in, if I just turned it on and wasn't looking, I would never have noticed that it was um, pulsating like that until I slowed it down because it basically was going fast enough, it seemed okay. And it's still pulling weathering powder off the wheels. So anyway. I even delayed this the uh, last video, hoping that I get this finished, but uh, unfortunately it didn't. And I had to go to work, so I had to wait until um, 
Always finished at work and ready to roll today. All right, so I think this might be good to go. It's um, it doesn't appear to be doing anything crazy. The wheels don't look like the wobble one. I'm gonna slow it way down and check. Now the problem with the weathered wheels is if you look on the side of them and you don't look straight down, um, you can't really tell if they're wobbling or not because they have an uneven weathering powder on them. So it looks like they're wobbling when in reality they are not. Now there was one that looked like it had been moving in and out. And again, I don't know if it's caused by the weathering powder or if it's been caused by something like the wheels not being straight or... It doesn't happen at higher speed though, so it's kind of hard to. I can get that in there. Um, I have to do a bit of a trick. Take the screwdriver here. There's a bit of weathering powder that's sort of touching inside of that. I don't know if I can. You see that there's this kind of grease that's in there. Um, maybe it'd be supposed to be in there, I don't know, but if for sure it was causing the thing to wobble, now it's not. It's running a lot smoother. Okay, so I'm going to power this thing down, and we're going to go try it out in the layout, and uh, see what happens. <laughs> 